Now, what do you get after an exciting race one? An exciting race two with the reverse grid in front of all the drivers. They had to make a very, very quick effort to gain some positions. But unfortunately, Antonio Albacete tried a little bit too hard to gain said positions. A monster of a lockup into turn one, meaning he ran into the back of Stefan Fass, who then got collected by multiple other drivers. Teo Calve had a wonderful start, though, 10th to second in just one corner, although Latchko would have him back after this. The entire field then had a big fight down to turn two. Albacete then coming under attack from Jochen Hahn down the inside with yet more contact and more damage to the front right of Hahn and the left rear of Albacete. But the main incident in the race which would bring out the red flag was this humongous hit for Stefan Fass. A brake failure to blame for the truck going straight on. This was his view from the very start. Deep into turn one, getting clipped by Albacete and then turned in front of the pack. Luckily not collected by anybody else. Fantastic avoidance from all of the drivers around him to make sure there was not further contact. All fired up though, Fass got going once again. And ran down the hill towards turn two, checking whether anything was wrong with the truck. And he would soon find out that yes, there was. Unfortunately, it wouldn't turn in for turn two and he went straight on into the barrier and even some of the best Armco barriers in the world could not stand the power of the five-ton truck. But Stefan Fass was completely fine. He jumped out as quickly as he could and was reunited with family and everybody else in the paddock that needed to check that he was okay, and the medics did a wonderful job of ensuring that. So the race was very quickly red-flagged while the barrier repair took place, and everybody was set to go for a restart. The barrier repair, though, did take a lot longer than planned, and the organisers were not confident that the race could be started safely again in a decent time frame to get things going. So unfortunately, the race was cancelled, the result will be deleted, and everybody will be back tomorrow for races three and four. But we thank all the marshals, all of the officials, and everybody involved, and hopefully we get more fantastic racing again tomorrow.